So most of you students know by now that I code video games, but most of you, probably none of you, wonder how I do it. This is a tutorial video on how I make one of the most important parts of coding a video game. So first, I want to code a bullet hell pattern. In a bullet hell game, this is very important to have, as it is the main gimmick of the game. So for now, we will design what we want to draw out in code. For instance, a spiral. I'm going to draw a little bit more so I can show you all the different types. So the first thing we're going to code is what happens when there's a clone. There's a reason for this. So you want to click when I start as clone, go to here, so that way it continues to do something until something happens. In this case, once the, once the clones touch the edge, it's going to delete the clone. But what's the clone going to do? Well, it's going to move a certain amount of steps per frame. So what we want to do is we want to use this one. What's, what this one says is when this is clicked, this and what we're going to code next is going to happen. So for us, we want for this thing, we want to use the forever block. This just lets, it, lets the clones keep coming and coming and coming and coming on. So we're going to do create clone, and this is what it's going to look like. See how that happens? Now that's a bit boring. So we're going to uh, do five, and then it's going to do this. See? A simple spiral. This one's going to be a little bit harder. What's going to happen is it's going to point in a specific direction, and in this case it's going to be pointing down, which will be... 180 degrees. We're going to have it go to X, a specific X and Y coordinate. But here's the thing about the X coordinate. It's going to be random. So we're going to do maybe 200 to 200. And then it's going to go... See? Now, I want it 0.2. And we're going to make it be higher for the Y, y interval. See? Now, if we add in this part, ta-da! This, this one's a bit harder. Oh, I remember, it's the rings. Okay, so here's the thing about rings. We're going to do this, and we're going to do this again, but this one's going to have a couple other things with it. It's going to have a wait until and then it's going to have this which is going to be on and this says that wait until blank equals blank so in this case my variable which we will rename release to release so when release equals on then this will happen but for release to be on certain requirements have to be made in this case, once all of the clones have been created for the ring. Ta-da! And there we go! Three simple, yeah, 